Hello everyone, welcome back to Geek Disorders web series over HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, and jQuery. This is Lavic. I'll be walking you through this series. Uh, today we're going to go over um, the div and the span elements. Um, these are two elements that uh, prior to HTML5 they were used to um, divide up your web page, uh, create the different building blocks like the uh, header, the, the navigation, the body, and the footer. Um, the div uh, would be is the, is the main um, element that was used to uh, create these sections and the spam was used to uh, single out certain uh, text uh, for CSS formatting. And uh, the reason we're going to go over this uh, is if you do uh, end up working with HTML uh, a lot you're most likely going to run into some older HTML that hasn't been updated to HTML5 that's still going to have the div and the span uh, in there. Uh, they're still used, just not as near as uh, much as they were prior to HTML5. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and explain those. That way, if you do run into them, you'll know what's going on. Um, that, and you'll know how uh, uh, the web page used to be set up compared to the next video when we're going to show you how it's set up in HTML5. All right. Uh, well, there's some special things we're going to need to do uh, to take a look at uh, these two uh, elements. Uh, first, I'm going to create a folder. And I'm going to create, create it on my desktop. You can create yours wherever you like. I'm just going to name mine div and span. All right, now I'm going to open up Notepad++. Close that out. All right, I'm going to create me a new web page here. And I'm going to save it as, and we'll save it inside that folder I created. Div and span. All right, and I'm just going to give it uh, the name div span.html okay uh, we need to create one more file so file new and go to save as uh, we're going to create a CSS file uh, I'm not going to explain too much about the CSS we're going to learn about it uh, later uh, but in order to really show you how the div and the span work um, some CSS coloring is very helpful so we're going to I'm going to show you how to add that in uh, I'm not going to explain it too much. I'm just mainly going to show you how to type it and link it. All right. Uh, I'm going to create a file called. I'm just going to call it uh, uh, formatting. Uh, CSS, and we'll save that. All right. I'm going to switch back over to my HTML file here. All right. We're going to create the best uh, basic building uh, setup uh, of a um, HTML5 document. We're going to start off with a doc type. Alright, I'm going to open up my uh, HTML here. I'll go ahead and close that. Alright, I'm going to create my head section. And, oh, I forgot to do something. We'll do that real quick. Up here in the HTML, uh, we want to add our language attribute. And LANG equals EN for English. And there we go. Alright, and then of course the head section. Go ahead and close that. I'm going to go ahead and put my, my body section in here. Alright, and move back up to the head. And one of the uh, required tags is the meta tag for our attribute uh, character set. Alright, and we're going to set that equal to UTF 8. And we'll close that. Uh, the next one is the title. And uh, I'm just going to call this uh, how to code div and span all right all right the, and the new one for uh, linking our CSS which you don't really have to understand it I'm just basically top uh, what I am uh, is a link element and we're gonna have the real tag and in this real tag we're gonna set the value to style sheet all right and now that we told the link element what type of uh, uh, link this is, uh, we're going to tell it where to find this file. We're going to do that with the hyperref equals. And we're going to set that equal to formatting.css since that was the name of our file. And then we're just going to close it. All right, we're done there. OK, we're going to move down to the body. OK, and uh, in a HTML um, in the body of your HTML. Uh, this is where the div uh, and span come into play because in the body you could have a, you know, you could have your head section 
uh, you have your navigation, then you have your body and your footer, and you want to kind of break those up. That way, you know, you can format them individually. And so the way they did this is they would just create, like if we had a head, uh, some navigation, um, we had a body, and we have a footer. They would just create a div for each one. Now, the way they told CSS uh, that these divs were different from each other, well, they used IDs. Because you're only going to have one head, one body, one footer, and most likely just one navigation uh, in each uh, web page. So they set IDs. We're going to set our ID for our header just equal to header. And down here, we're going to create an ID. We're going to set it equal to nav. And we're going to call this one a uh, body. And over here, uh, we're going to call this one footer. Oh, there we go. All right. So we got we got these three. Now let's throw in some, just some simple content here. I'm just going to put a h1 here, and I'm uh, uh, this is the header. There we go. All right, in my navigation, uh, I'm for right now. I'm just going to put a paragraph, and I'm going to put links or nav. There we go. And in my body, I'm just going to create a couple of paragraphs. And I forgot to close that correctly. There we go. All right. And let's see, in our footer, I'm going to create a paragraph. And inside this paragraph, I'm going to put a copyright symbol. Whoops. And then just geek disorder. All right. I'm going to go ahead and save this, and I'm going to run it. All right. So this H1 has our header. Uh, that's our header uh, uh, div right there. Uh, this right here is our navigation div. These three paragraphs are our body div. And this right here is our footer div. Now, as you can tell, it looks pretty much like it's just all together. You can't see any division in it. And that's where we're going to use CSS. Let's kind of show you what's going on here. Uh, if you switch over to your CSS file, okay, and what we're going to do is we have header, nav, body, and footer as IDs. So in order to tell CSS we're using ID, you put a pound sign, and then we're going to put, let's see, we named that header, correct? Yes, header. All right, we're just going to put header, open curly braces, go down, close, and then over here we're going to have nav, open, close, here we're going to have, uh, it was body, open, close, and then last we have footer. Alright, and each one of these, I'm going to turn the background color uh, a different color for each one of these. So the way you do this is you background dash color colon and I'm going to use uh, red for the header. All right, and then semicolon. And down here, I'm going to use background dash color and blue. All right, and here I'm going to use background dash color. And I'm going to do yellow. And right here, I'm going to do background dash oops color we'll do green okay I'm gonna save this alright now switch back over to your HTML document if you were to try to run with your uh, CSS document selected this is what you get it just display the uh, text of your CSS document so you want to always run with your HTML document selected you want to make sure both are saved when you do it alright now as you can see we turned our the head 
uh, uh, development red. So you should see there is a red background off over everything that is included within the head div. All right, and our link div did the same thing, our body and our footer. So you can see there is division there, okay? And you can see there's some white space in between each one. Um, those are your like uh, your margins and stuff like that. The, the stuff you can change with CSS, and we'll show you how to do that later. All right. So as you can see, they they broke up uh, their web pages using the div uh, element to create you know some some uh, different modules to put stuff in so they could format it more easily without it affecting anything else. All right, and now we're going to look at the span element and in order to look at the span I'm just going to create a new paragraph right here and um, I'm going to say I'm just going to do span or actually I guess a better example would be in the middle of here I'm going to put this text is orange there we go if I wanted this text is orange to be orange what I would do is back then I would just create a span okay around this text there we go and in order to tell it uh, to, to specify just the span is the one I want to affect if I had more than one span and I use if I over here in CSS if I just put the word span it affect every single one but I just want to affect this one uh, if I if I did have more than one and I'm gonna use a class to do this and this class is just gonna be called orange anything I want to turn orange I'd put this class on and it would turn it orange the text alright so in order to do this I'm gonna create another uh, uh, couple lines in CSS, uh, CSS and I'm gonna use a period and this is for a class and then I'm gonna type orange open close okay in here I'm gonna put color colon and I'm gonna type orange and semicolon save that move back over to your HTML and run all right oh as I said before you gotta remember to save everything I didn't save my HTML from when I added this so I'll save that down we'll run again all right and as you see right here we have our this text is orange and it is orange okay so this is just a basic overview of the div and the span um, uh, the span is just lets you identify a text to be formatted with CSS the div allows you to break stuff up into different divisions uh, and this is how they used to do it before HTML5. In the next video, we're going to look at how you would actually do that now in HTML5 and the elements you'll use to do that. All right, well, this has been Live It with Geek Disorder. If you like our content, please subscribe, and I will see you next time.